Welcome to the next episode of Revolutionary Talk. We're into our third episode in the Immune Health series. Let's get physical. Let's get physical. Oh man, what are we going to talk about today? Things that help immune health and physical activity? Ooh. Or vice versa. Oh man, yes, okay. Okay, let's start with, uh, <laughs> you know, I think the, and I would have changed this a year ago or two years ago. I think the, the best practice of anything exercise related for immune health is yoga. Mm. As there are many poses, such as a uh, fish pose, my favorite. I've actually been doing this. That's in, your favorite? But, so I've been doing it a of lot. Of course it is. He's in, a Pisces. Uh, yeah, exactly. But <laughs> no, so I've been doing it a lot in all my classes. As we work our way down to the ground, I'm yeah. having everybody do fish because it opens up your lymphatic glands and you're also opening up your heart chakra and your thymus is just dumping out T cells. So I've really been like at the end of the practice, and I'll even say like, this is fish pose. This is a great pose to just really open up your immune ducts and your lymphatic ducts and just get this circulating after you've been stressed and zen, not stressed, after you've de-stressed and then zinned out for like the last 45 minutes in this class. Wow. Boom. That's, that's a lot more science than I thought yeah. you were going to That's good stuff. A I lot didn't... more science than I've ever heard in yoga class. Yeah, but, but that's... It's kind of like that, that model, like do like your it. core yeah. lifts and your workout early and then circulate the blood through yeah. with the higher reps towards the end to get all those, you know, testosterone or all your hormones circulating through for the rest of the workout. Yeah, makes sense. So I took that model, took the yoga, but overall I think yoga is like the best physical exercise for, you know, immune health. Which, by the way, if you're ever in KC... Kansas City and want to take yoga. Yeah. This guy right here, mm-hmm. Chris Douglas Yoga Academy. Hasn't started yet. <laughs> there you go, Big Fish KC. Yeah. What do, so what do you, what do you guys think are like good, you know, exercise? I know we all work out way different. So <laughs> that's I know. True, yeah, that's pretty interesting. I mean, I know. I mean, you work out with weights too, and you. I mean, you work out. With weights. I do weights, but I, it's been a lot less since uh, yoga. Yeah, I mean, I'm always just drawn back to weight room. I don't know what it is. I mean, I kind of grew up in that world so but lately it has changed a little bit though i mean i'm not like 100 percent meathead like it used to be yeah, yeah, yeah I, I um i've incorporated some more like full body like uh with like cardio in mind too like i like to get my cardio in like while moving weights yeah so like superset tri-sets mm-hmm. like things to really get your blood flowing get um that's what get I my heart going. From. So I gotta wait. I'm trying to get back into that because yeah. it's like now I'm working out as like de-stressing rather than cardiovascular health, and then I'm out filming and doing stuff, and I'm like, crap, I Sorry. need my cardio back. So I'm trying to work back to that, you know, balance of them. Yeah. And you do. You do a lot of cardio stuff. I do a little bit of cardio. I I mean, I always start out my workouts with cardio, mm-hmm. but that's just to get the blood flowing. Yep. And then I'm over at the weights doing a lot of just like squats and. Stuff of that nature, but I, yeah, I also have to balance all that stuff yeah. out too. Because when I'm doing a lot of body work, I also mm. have to keep that in mind mm. and not wear my upper body or anything out for that matter. Yeah. And that, that's an important component too of like you know working out for immune health is if you if you work out too much or you're overtraining or yes. over you're, when you're working out you're essentially mm-hmm. stressing your body. And there's that right. kind of we talked about in the first episode of the series that that good stress, which is right. I think that physical activity early. And really like de-stressing your mind and your body but if you work out too long and you're using it to compensate for other things or just like you're addicted to working out like you can turn yourself into adrenal insufficiency and really just like crash and then your immune system goes down with it yeah yes. so. and that that gives me some some thoughts on some things i've learned over the years so a lot of people will think they're overtraining when in reality they just have poor eating habits. Yeah. So kind of going back to the last episode, mm-hmm. if you're working out at a high level, your eating habits need to match it yeah. or otherwise your body will crash. Yeah. Otherwise you just add more inflammation to it. Yeah. And you'll, you'll, you're going to be slowing down instead of speeding up. So right. it is a stress. I mean, yeah. So yeah, you can buy all the supplements that you want, but the, the nutrition, nutrition of free building your body is going to be, that's what's key. Yeah. What do you guys think about running? Do you guys run a lot? Because so something that the new wave is of um, immune health and like de-stressing is breath work. I mean, it's been mm-hmm, popping yeah. up everywhere and I'm starting to like catch the omens of like diving my way into it. But, yeah. you know, running is an easy way to kind of like runner's high is essentially taking breath work, right. but not running. You're sitting yeah. down and doing it, but that's like becoming like a new wave. You know, I go through phases of running. Usually it's like when the weather's nice. Mm-hmm. So this time of year, of course, when it's, 10 degrees and snowy outside i i don't know i 
I'm just not a fan of running indoors. So yeah. when it's nice out, that gives me an excuse. But I mean, I should be doing more of it probably. Yeah. Yeah, and I grew up in the track world, you know, middle school, high school, college. So, especially as it gets warmer, I mean, I'm going to be like with you, like outside wanting to run then because running inside is not as great. I yeah. mean, especially when you're on a so treadmill, boring. it's like, uh. but um, it is, I think running's a really great way to release stress to help boost your, you know, balance your immune system. Um, this is good for an exercise that I... Highly dislike. <laughs> I'm just curious. <laughs> On the other side, it's yeah. yeah. I mean, I can see where I I used to not like running mm -hmm. like at all. Yeah, I would have. I literally picked the events that I most of them I didn't have to run for. Yeah, I feel you. I mean, <laughs> I grew up throwing. It was a form of punishment in sports. So <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> I have a, that is like a I have some like trauma tied to it. Yeah. yeah, I think I ended up quitting soccer back in high school because I was tired of running a mile a day. That's why I quit <laughs> soccer. I get it. But, but then I missed soccer for the actual you know component. Yeah. So, yeah. so what about if you're not, um, you're not very active? Especially this time of year, like we mentioned, it's cold. So if you do like to run outside, you might have a hard time with that. And if you're not getting physical enough, what can that lead to? <laughs> a depleted <laughs> immune system. That's what I found yeah. for myself. I just, and when I get lazy, I just, my body's yeah. like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. Inactivity just leads to that suppression of all body functions. So if you're a high functioning person and you slow down in the wintertime, so is your immune system and every, every aspect of your body's going to slow down with it. So... Yeah. It's really important not to just drop off in the wintertime. You're going to take a break. Breaks are important, but, you know, also curving down, not just like stopping one day and, you yeah. know, taking taking two weeks off, like slowly, like um, what do they call it in lifting, like deloading? You know, with yeah. power lift, right. like lift heavy, then you got to deload and slowly like break off of it. Same thing with anything else, you know, fitness based. Mm -hmm. I mean, in, in that case, it's a little more strategic. Like you mm -hmm. mentioned, you, you know, you don't want to just completely stop and, or your body's going to freak out. Yeah. All right. So hopefully everybody has an idea of something uh, they could incorporate into their lives to be a little more ac active, uh, even in these cold winter months. But spring is around the corner, so hopefully it gets here soon and we can get outside again. Um, stay tuned for next week. We're going to wrap up this series on immune health, and we're going to learn about supplements, things you can take to supplement into your lives. Stay tuned.